All right, I'm rolling. Hello, my friends. Jesus, um, it's been a while, to say the least. I haven't done one of these uh, proper one-on-ones in ages, and I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited, and it's mostly due to the fact that, um, yeah, you guys brought up some really interesting topics, and I was really curious to see what you were interested in and there was a huge overlap so we probably have like about four or five big massive questions to answer or four or five themes and then yeah maybe some bits and bobs here and there but i thought why not start off with the one topic that brought me here in the first place so i guess let's jump right in here we go well the thing is it's the type of relationship where you don't text and call very often, but when you do, it's like an in-depth catch-up and it's very heartfelt and it's reconnecting. Um, but at the end of the day, I haven't seen them in four years. So it's, it, I don't know, it's weird because it's one thing to um, stay up to date with the parents, but connecting with the kids is not as easy uh, through messages and things like that. So. I've been, yeah, I don't know, I'm very, I'm itching to go back. Actually, um, just out of curiosity, I wonder if I would call my host mom real quick, she would pick up. Shall we try? Okay. <laughs> very curious how this is going to go. What's the time difference right now? That could work. Okay, here we go. Damn it. Okay. Do you regret extending? Not at all. Um, I don't regret doing the au pair experience in the first place and I also don't regret extending because, I don't know, I felt that I was really not done yet and for me it just made sense to experience a different part of the US because Texas was a very special experience as much as, much as I loved it and yeah, I just knew that I would enjoy going on a journey for a little bit longer and that's why I'm very happy that I did that, yeah. Yeah, well the thing is, every year around the time when September or October hits, I get quite melancholic about my up here experience as a whole because uh, back in October 2014 I started and yeah, every year around this time I start reflecting on how it how it has shaped me and it just brings back some memories. So I have quite a bit of thoughts on this. And if you would be curious to yeah, hear me talk about this whole au pair experience in retrospect a little bit more, I'd be happy to do a separate video on this because otherwise I'm gonna talk about au pair here for the entire uh, while of this video. And so to avoid that, let me know if you are interested in something like that. This brings us to the next big chunk of questions, which are all um, study related. And the first one was, did you enjoy studying abroad? Well, that's an easy one to answer. That's a definite yes. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed the idea of starting somewhere from scratch. And yeah, also for the sake of reinventing yourself and all that kind of jazz. But um, yeah, when you go and decide to do your entire study abroad and you meet people who are on that same path, you just have yeah, you just share this similar experience and you start to build up your second family here and well the city also has a huge impact so I fell in love with the city of Utrecht head over heels. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's been a... it's just such a cool place because I enjoyed that you can go wherever you need to go within like a what 10 or 20 minute bike ride and I just wasn't used to that before and for, as like a student city it really spoke to me and you still have Amsterdam super close by so for me it was like the perfect mix so the study the city and the people were this whirlwind of uh, yeah just good stuff coming my way so I would definitely do it again um, so for those of you who don't know I studied creative business at the whole school here in Utrecht and I've actually just recently done a video on this, so if you're curious to hear a bit more about uh, the way of working or the atmosphere of the study, I'll link that up here. And would I do it again? Yeah, I'm actually quite sure I would do it again. I will say that of course there were things like certain processes and 
definitely also some courses that really didn't speak to me. Um, but when, I mean, I feel like that's that's the case with any study. And overall, I just really enjoyed the hands-on approach. So I liked that the internship was mandatory and that it pushed me to really get a glimpse of what um, work life feels like. And I also really enjoyed the study abroad and overall it just shaped uh, where I want to go in my professional um, life quite a bit, so yeah. Nope, at the moment I really don't feel like doing a master. I think after my thesis I'm just so done with uh, academic um, yeah, writing or studying in general, so I'm ready to uh, do something else for now, but um, I will say that I could see myself doing a master in the future, but I feel like people who say that never end up doing them, so I don't know. <laughs> if you would have asked me that a few months ago, I think you would have gotten quite a different answer. So, um, a little while back I was actually considering it quite a bit to be, U to be leaving Utrecht right after I graduated. And I had a few options on my mind of places that I would love to still go to or live for for a little bit. And Australia and New Zealand is up there, but uh, let's not talk about this because then a global pandemic hit and that um, yeah, changed things quite a bit. Um, but not only that, also the situation here in Utrecht has yeah, evolved and um, right now I can actually really see myself staying in Utrecht for a little while longer um, because yeah there are certain things that keep me here and I'm not quite ready to leave this place so um, for the most part I'll be staying here. On to the last uh, theme of today which is future plans and I pushed it to the very end um, because it's not always my favorite topic to talk about but yeah I don't know I'm thinking right now before I talk about this, I think I have to show you something first. Let's go. Alright, so here's the thing. And this, ladies and gentlemen, brings me to the part where I forgot to plug in the microphone. Uh, you'd think I should know better by now, but I obviously don't. So here's a little message from future me as I'm editing this video. Um, so yeah, what I was trying to say here is that how do I start this? Well, um, Circle That is an initiative that I founded with five others. And yeah, so in the beginning it was really just a testing ground to experiment with concepts around the topic of sustainability and uh, circularity. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I also wrote my thesis on uh, the topic of circular economy. So this is really where my head is at. and. Oh, in the window front where you just saw me standing at, um, that's our location in the very heart of Utrecht. Uh, and what I personally found quite fun or yeah, just really connecting is that a few of you um, actually uh, came by for a visit. So yeah, if you're watching this, love goes out to you. And it was just really cool to meet some of your faces in yeah, real life and not in this little lovely corner of the internet. What was I trying to say? It really awakened my entrepreneurial spirits, if that makes any sense. Because uh, it's been a hell of a ride and I really enjoyed it, even though there were also quite some uh, roadblocks and it's been very exhausting at times. And yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm not quite there yet and I just should suck up some knowledge first. So I also have an internship in Amsterdam lined up for the end of the year. And right now I'm in the process of trying to figure out uh, how I can all squeeze that into uh, one, uh, yeah, unter einen Hut bringen. How do you say this in English? I don't know. Make it all happen at the same time. Anyhow, um, that's it. And actually here I'm gonna throw in a bonus question because I really liked the way it was phrased and I just stumbled across it just now and it's about uh, what are your uh, wishes for the future? <laughs> well, one of the things is to worry a bit less about the future because I tend to do that quite often. And yeah, I just wanna stick to the things that bring me joy, like these videos and I haven't done them for way too long so why the hell did I stop in the first place? So yeah, I don't know. I wish you all the best for your future and for your Sunday afternoon as you're watching this with me or whatever, whenever that may be. Um, so yeah, that's it. Lots of love from Utrecht. Bye bye guys. <laughs>
huge.